Well, North Cowichan is hoping to butt out smoking in public parks after council approved more smoke-free zones around the region, but the move is being met with some criticism because those zones are not actually enforceable. It's not like a bylaw, it's more like a suggestion. CTV's Chandler Grieve reports. It is a sign that North Cowichan finally wants to butt out smoking. Yes, we are coming to the party late. And now and that's why we need to make the statement now. We need to we need to start now and to do the right thing uh, from now moving forward. Council approving the cost for the region to add more smoke-free signs in parks, playgrounds, and baseball fields, targeting the municipality's future generation. We want to take a stronger stand against smoking, uh, especially as it affects our youth. They may be talking tough, but what actually will happen if someone disobeys one of these signs? You could you could be smoking the foulest cigar on the planet and they could bring a squad of 50 Mounties and there's nothing they could do to you. And that's why Councillor Al Sebring questioned the region's decision to add more than $1,000 worth of signs that are essentially a suggestion. We don't have any enforcement provision. We have no bylaw in North Cowichan that says, you know, you can't smoke here. You see it in other communities, no smoking per bylaw number 12345. You're not going to see that in North Cowichan because we don't have that kind of bylaw. In cities such as Duncan and Nanaimo, a puff at a public park or facility could lead to a $100 ticket from a bylaw enforcement officer, but not in North Cowichan. So the question I asked in the council discussion was, are we in the business of making suggestions or are we in the business of actually doing things that are enforceable. This is not enforceable. The parks and trails that surround Fuller Lake in North Cowichan provide some of the most breathtaking views you'll find on the island, but the municipality says they're constantly fielding phone calls from angry users saying they're sick and tired of picking up after people's old cigarette butts. And those we spoke with today say signs may help, but unless the municipality actually plans to enforce it, little will change. A waste of money. Put one up and and they'll still light up. You think people will follow them if the signs go up? Um, I think some people will, but lots of people won't. But the municipality hopes otherwise, confident the signs will have their desired effect and not be public money going up in smoke. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, North Cowichan.